Some apps have a feature that I call the Over Under Tools. And it's something you may not notice initially, but it can be very helpful for your sketch notes. Flip Ink is one app that has this feature available. I'm going to start by using the pen, and I'm just going to draw a black line. And now I'm going to turn this to red, and I'm just going to go through the tools. And I want to show you that the pencil goes over top of the black line, the crayon does, um, the ink does, the marker does, but I want you to see what happens when I use the thick uh, marker. It goes under the black line. And you say, well, you know, what's the big deal with that? Well, let me show you what you can do with it. Let me go back to the ink, and I'm going to go ahead and just make a little house and let me zoom in on this and now I'm going to go to that thick marker and show you how it can be helpful because if I want to color this house in can you see how the color is going underneath the black line rather than over top of it this is what it looked like if you were going over top of it uh, let me go back to that thick marker. And so that can be a really helpful tool if you want to color in some of your drawings um, to use the tool that is an over tool to draw the outline and then use the under tool to color it in. Another app that has these over under tools is Paper 53. I'm going to go again into the pen which is an over tool. And then the, again, the thick marker is your under tool. I want you to watch what happens if I go here and start coloring in. You can see how the color stays underneath that black outline. Whereas if I go back to my pen and draw, it goes right over top of it. Another app that has this over-under feature is Teasui Sketches, and you do have to have the in-app features or the pro version of this to take advantage of the over-under. One of the things that's cool about Teasui is it lets you designate whether a tool is over or under. So right now I'm using this crayon. Let me change it to a different color. And if I go over top of it, you can see it is being used as an over tool. But if I tap on the tool and tap down here at the bottom where there's like a little shading and I'm going to tap that, now I'm going to change it and you will see that the same tool now becomes an under tool. Um, there also is a little bit of an overlap when you use that under tool. Um, but so you can designate any one of your tools to be over or under, which can be really, really helpful. Hope this trick helps you out with your sketch notes.